Good morning. Okay, guys, I will share screen. Yes, Lamar. I will allow you guys to unmute yourselves, okay? But please do not unmute unless you have something important to say. Yes, Lamar Sharafuddin, you raised your hand. Lamar. You are allowed to unmute yourselves. Miss? Yes, Lamar. Uh, can you please uh, open the chat? So I want to tell uh, Lamar Spawn something. Something concerning what? Uh, important. I want to tell her something. Okay, guys. Let's start. Okay, yesterday we started with... From this? Yes. Did you start the uh, screen sharing? Yeah, I did. But all uh, my screen, oh, no, oh, sorry, never mind, never mind. Okay, so yesterday we finished the second part of the lesson. Um, today is the last part of the lesson, which is the most important part of all the lesson. We started with adjectives. I will just make a quick revision before we, starting with, before we start with the last part. We started with adjectives. We talked about... Um, the definition of adjectives, what are adjectives? And we said that adjectives are uh, words that describe nouns or uh, pronouns. Uh, we also uh, talked about the kinds of adjectives and we said that um, these adjectives are, uh, for example, we have the adjectives of size, the adjectives of um, quality, adjectives of color that tell us the color of something and uh, also we talked about the adjectives of substance which tell us what things are made of okay i think we forgot one kind yes which is the adjective of or the adjectives of origin Okay, so these are the things that we talked about um, yesterday and before yesterday. We also talked about the order of adjectives. And we said that in case you are dis uh, using more than one adjective uh, to describe um, a single noun or pronoun, then you have to uh, use a certain order in um, this case. And we said that this order is the size, the quality, the color, the origin, and the substance. In this case, uh, you have to follow the order. We also gave some examples about the order of adjectives and so on. Okay, clear? Till now, any questions? Yes, yes, yes. No. no questions, no. Okay. No questions. no questions. We talked also about the forms of adjectives. How to form an adjective. And we said we add suffixes to the verbs in order to form adjectives or to the nouns. Um, and we also did an exercise concerning this. There is one thing that I skipped yesterday, which is a very important part. I will explain it now, and then we're going to move directly to the last part of the lesson. Um, the thing that I skipped yesterday is showing you the difference between what something is made of and what something is like. And when I say 
something is made of, it means I'm telling you what it is made of, okay? When I'm telling you what it is like, it means I'm telling you it looks like something. It's not made of this thing, it looks like it. This is the difference. Now, the difference is that some nouns, some nouns can be used like adjectives. Remember when we talked about the adjectives of substance, we said a cotton t-shirt, a plastic bag, a glass door, and so on. Yes? Yes. 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 We said that these yes. adjectives are originally nouns, and they are nouns, but we are using them as adjectives. So these nouns or some nouns can be used like adjectives. For example, if you have a chair that is made of plastic, then you can say a plastic chair. Okay, you can say or you can use the noun plastic as an adjective and say that the chair is a plastic chair. If you have a watch that is made of gold, you can say that it is a gold watch. Okay, why am I saying this? Because they are literally made of these substances. They are made of these substances. But the nouns wood and wool, honey, we have special cases, these two um, nouns, these two, sorry, yes, these two nouns cannot be used like this. And I cannot say a wood chair, a wool jumper, no. To make these nouns adjectives, you have to add a an. And Anna, I have to say wood, wooden, wool, woolen. Okay? This is in the case when I'm describing what something is made of. Clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we move to describing what something is like. For example, there's uh, another way to make adjectives from nouns. Suppose you want to say that something is like a certain material. It's not made of this material. It's like a certain material. To make these adjectives, you have to add E N to the nouns and Y to other nouns. Let's see the example. Gold, golden, a golden sunrise. If I asked you a question, is the sunrise made of gold? Is it literally made of gold? No. No, it's not. Very good. No. It's not. So, Anna, I'm using the, the noun gold in order to describe what the sunrise is like and not what is the sunrise made of, right? So, I say a golden sunrise. Why? Because the sunrise is bright yellow like gold and it is not made from gold. Silky dress, a silky skin. Okay. Can we see, yeah, is, is the skin um, made up of silk or is it really silk? No. Silk here is used to describe the softness of the skin, right? That's why I cannot say silk skin. I have to say silky skin because I'm describing what the skin is like and not what the skin is made of. But if I have a dress, I can say a silk dress because it's made of silk. Clear? Yes. Yes. We did yes. this exercise yesterday, yeah. right? Yeah, we did. Yes. We did. Yes. Okay. We did it. Great. Yeah, well, let's move now to the last part of the lesson, which is very important. And it's the most important part actually in the lesson. Okay, now we are going to start with the comparison of adjectives, okay? The comparison of adjectives. In the comparison of adjectives, we have come in at two parts, the comparative form and the superlative form. Okay. First of all, let's start with the comparative form. When I say comparative form, 
it means I am comparing two people or two things or two places when I'm using the comparative form. We use the comparative form of an adjective to compare two people, two things or two places, not more and not less, two. The comparative form is usually made by adding ER to the adjective. What do we mean by adding ER to the adjective? For example, I can say dark, darker. I can say hard, harder. I can say light, lighter. Warm, warmer. High, higher. Cold, colder. Low, lower. Fast, faster. Old, older. Slow, slower. Young, younger. Rich, richer. I am adding ER to the adjectives in order to change them to the comparative form. Okay? Okay. Clear? Clear. Yes. Okay, great. Now, we have to see how do we compare two things or two places or two people? How? The word is often used to compare two things or people. For example, you say, Mr. Lee is taller than Philip. Look at the note. Mr. Lee is taller than Philip. Whom am I comparing? Mr. Mr. Lee to Philip. Mr. Lee and Philip. Yeah, and I'm comparing Lee. two people. Right? Look at the phone. Yeah. Is taller than. Yeah, and into in the exam, this is the way you are going to write the adjective. Miss, please quiet. A car is faster than a bike. Okay? A car is faster than a bike. What am I comparing here? A car, a car and, and a bike. bike. A car and a bike. So I'm comparing two things. But lahzu kif ana, I'm always adding than. Than. Okay? Yani daiman faster than, taller than. In the test, you have to write this. I'm not going to tell you that you have to write than. Into you have to memorize the form of the comparative uh, um, adjective. Is taller than. Okay? Miss, okay. can you please give us an okay. example about how the exam is going to be? What? An example, uh, of like course, a question. Of course, we're going to have examples, don't we? I just need to fix something in one second. One second, I'll come back. Wait. Okay. Okay, Miss.
Yes, guys. Miss? Yes, miss. Staff, no, Anna, I've been talking yeah. for two minutes, so I'm muted and I didn't know. <laughs> I swear, mm -hmm. I, I repeated everything. I gave you more examples about comparative adjectives. I, I was muted. I'm sorry. So, to compare two people, two things, or two places. Sorry, is this like captain? I have to use the comparative form of adjectives, which is adding E-R. Clear till now? Yes. Let's move yes. now to the second part, which is the superlative form of adjectives. What do I mean by the superlative form of an adjective? Okay. Now, Elna, I know the comparative form is used to compare two people or two things or two places. The superlative form is used to compare three or more people or things or places. We use the superlative form to compare more than uh, yeah, three or more people, places, or things. And the superlative form is usually used by adding EST to the adjective. Yani, when you can add a dark, darker, when you can add darkest, and a dark, darkest, warm, warmest, light, lightest, cold, coldest, high, highest, and so on. Okay? Okay. Hello. How do we use it? Anna, for example, I'm comparing three insects. The bee, the ladybird, and the ant. I can say <coughs> a bee is a small insect. A ladybird is smaller, but an ant is the smallest. Yani Anna, I'm comparing these three insects. But if I said Karim is taller than Ali, I'm comparing Karim and Ali. So two people. I'm using the comparative. But if I said, Karim is the tallest student in class, it means I'm comparing Karim to everyone in class. That's why I'm using the superlative form. Got it? Yes. Clear? Yeah. Mm. Yes. 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 Clear. Yes. Okay, great. So the difference between the comparative form and the superlative form is that the comparative form is used to compare two people, two places, two, two things. And the superlative form is used to compare three or more people, places, or things. The comparative form is formed by adding ER to the adjective and the superlative form is used by adding EST. Yeah. And let me tell you something very important, Ilna. In, no, in the comparative form, we have to say taller than, yani the adjective plus than. And in the superlative form, we have to use the and then the adjective, yani the smallest, the tallest, the highest, the fattest, the youngest, the richest, and so on. Okay? okay. Yes. Okay. Now we move to the spelling rules, yani how we change these adjectives using the spelling rules. If the adjective ends with E, like nice or close or large or rude or safe or wide, here in this case, you just add R and ST. Yeah, nice, nicer, nicest, close, closer, closest, large, larger, largest, and so on. These are concerning the adjectives that end with E. Suppose that the adjective is a short word, in a small word, sad, wet, slim, thin, big, any one syllable words, and ends in a consonant and has a single vowel in the middle. Just double the consonant. Just double the consonant and then add ER or EST. Yani for example, I say sad, sadder, saddest. I have to double the last consonant. Yani double D, wet, double T, slim, double M, thin, double N, big, double G, and so on. Okay? Hi, concerning the adjectives that are small words, yeah, in the small words, and they end with a consonant. Yes, Lamar. Miss, but I can't see the shared screen. Why? I don't know. It's just uh, showing like Miss Safa is uh, sharing screen and stop sharing. Sure like yeah? Loading. Lamar, it's it seems enough from your internet connection, but I will stop share and I'll share again. Okay, check now. 
Can you see yes. it now? No. Uh, it's because of your internet connection. Guys, can you see the shared screen? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes I can. Yeah. Yeah, Lamar, I, I think you can you can leave and join again. Try. Okay. Yeah. Suppose the adjectives have two syllables and ends with Y. What do you mean by two syllables? You know what do you mean by a syllable? Two parts, miss. Yes, miss. I know it's a, yes, it's a little yes. part. Miss two parts. Yes, yeah, and two sounds, okay? Oh, yes. A syllable means a sound. So when I say two syllable, it means it has two sounds. Yeah, and for example, e, z, fa, ni, der, ti, no, z, ha, pi, no, ti. These are adjectives that has have two syllables, okay? These adjectives that have two syllables and end with y, in this case, we drop the Y, add I, and then add E-R or E-S-T, and easier, funnier, dirtier, tidier, prettier. Look at the examples, and it, it's clear. You can see the examples, right? Clear till now? 